For classic matches done in the same style as this one, go over to patreon.com forward slash drunk redhead. On the last World Cup qualifying video, we were looking at the end of match day nine in European qualifying, including this goal from Blaise Matuidi, which put France in the driving seat in their group. And so we finally begin the final match day of European qualifying, starting in Group F, where Slovakia hosted Malta at the Stadion Antonio Malatinskeho in Trnava. Unsurprisingly, it was Slovakia that opened the scoring, Adam Nemec scoring on 33 minutes. It was going to be a good day for Nemec as he got his second goal of the game on 62 minutes to put Slovakia 2-0 ahead. They completed the route a few minutes later with Duda scoring on 69 minutes, the final score Slovakia 3, Malta 0. The result left them in second place, however Scotland could leapfrog them with a win over Slovenia at the Stagiti Stadium in Ljubljana. It began well for Scotland as they went 1-0 in front thanks to Lee Griffith's goal on 32 minutes. Unfortunately, it all started going wrong for the Scots in the second half, with Roman Beziak equalising for Slovenia on 52 minutes. It got even worse for Scotland 20 minutes later, as Beziak got himself on the score sheet again, making it 2-1 to Slovenia. With two minutes left to play, Scotland pulled a goal back thanks to Robert Snodgrass, however it wasn't enough and the match finished 2-2, leaving Scotland in third place. Slovakia, however, also didn't manage to make the playoffs despite finishing second as they finished as the worst of the second place teams. Finally in Group F, Lithuania took on already qualified England at the LFF Stadium in Vilnius. Once again, England settled for a win by a single goal, Harry Kane scoring this one from the penalty spot on 27 minutes. The final score, Lithuania 0, England 1. Here's the confirmation of the final standings in Group F. Everything had already been settled in Group C going into the final match day where Germany were playing Azerbaijan at the Fritz Walter Stadion in Kaiserslautern. The already qualified Germans took the lead on 8 minutes thanks to a classy back heel from Goretzka. With just over 10 minutes left to play in the first half, Azerbaijan surprised people by getting an equaliser, Shadeyev with the goal. Normality was resumed in the second half with Sandro Wagner putting Germany back in front on 54 minutes. Germany continued their dominance later in the second half with Rudiger getting their third goal on 64 minutes. Two minutes later and the score was extended to 4-1 to Germany, Goretzka getting his second of the game. Germany finished off the scoring on 81 minutes, a screamer from Emre Chan, giving us a final score of 5-1 to the Germans. Northern Ireland were already guaranteed second spot in the group and a place in the playoffs before they took on Norway at the Ullevalstadion in Oslo. The Northern Irish probably didn't finish the campaign as they wanted to, as Chris Brunt's comical 71st minute own goal handed Norway a 1-0 win. With nothing at stake, San Marino probably hoped that the Czech Republic would go easy on them at the Dusan Arena in Poulsen. Unfortunately for San Marino, the Czechs didn't go easy on them and opened the scoring on 8 minutes through Kremencek. Halfway through the first half, the Czech Republic doubled their lead, with Klemencek scoring on 23 minutes. Then on 27 minutes, Jan Kopic scored to make it 3-0. In the second half, it was more of the same, with Filip Novak extending the Czech lead to 4-0 on 71 minutes. The Czech Republic would only get one more goal, Vaclav Kadlec on 83 minutes, giving us a final score of 5-0. In the standings, it looks like this, Germany winning every match, San Marino losing every match. Over to Group E now, and Poland knew that they only needed a point against Montenegro at the National Stadium in Warsaw to qualify. They got the start they wanted on 6 minutes, with Maczynski giving them the lead. That qualification looked even closer 10 minutes later when Kamil Grozycki made it 2-0. We then ended the game with a hectic 15 minutes, starting with a bit of magic from Stefan Mugosa to get a goal back from Montenegro. Yeah, no, 
What's our goal? And it got even better for Montenegro as they equalised on 83 minutes thanks to a goal from Tomasevic. With the scores as they were, Poland was still going to qualify. However, thanks to some defensive frailties, they were handed an opportunity to go through as winners. And Robert Lewandowski snapped up that chance on 86 minutes. At the end of the game, Poland would guarantee their victory. Well, to be exact, Montenegro would guarantee the victory with Stojkovic scoring their own goal on 89 minutes. The final score 4-2, which means that Poland have qualified for Russia 2018. Elsewhere in Group E, Kazakhstan were playing Armenia at the Astana Arena. The visitors took a 1-0 lead in the 26th minute thanks to a cheeky finish from Henrik Mkhitaryan. However, Kazakhstan would sign off with a point, Turizbek scoring on 62 minutes to give us a final score of one apiece. We finished the video off at the Parken Stadium in Copenhagen with Denmark versus Romania. The happenings for this one started in the second half with Niklas Bentner being felled in the area. Christian Eriksen stepped up to take the resulting penalty and converted on 59 minutes. Just like Kazakhstan though, Romania would sign off with a point. Cyprian Diak scoring on 88 minutes to give us a final score of Denmark 1, Romania 1. Here are the final standings for Group E with Poland winning the group on 25 points and Denmark taking that second spot and the playoff place on 20. That's it for this video, hope you've enjoyed. Not long to go now, so like and subscribe.